that these animals seem to to be bathing all the time. They just no 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 no. Hello. Well. Here we are for a little update video and it's quite late, I'm sorry for that, but the little one has her first birthday today, so obviously daddy could not go upstairs and make a video right away. Now everyone is asleep, including my wife, and so I am back at the computer making a little update video and you've already seen the info, uh, the intro, and, and Rudy has been frontiered again. Um, I think we can establish that as a word for now, because whatever I do, they will eventually bring into the game, making it a lot more simple. In comparison to what I did in the past, no. <laughs> Let's go through this update. You potentially have seen most of it already, so I'm not going to go in every single detail. I want to do so one one more specific thing and talk about the implications for the DLC at the very end of it. Let's first of all go through here because I think there are some amazing uh, changes. I've seen that many people are not like super hyped about it, maybe because it's not like as um, tangible as the last ones are, but I think the changes are really, really nice in terms of overall gameplay. Anyways, let's go into it. Now, first of all, we've got the roaming educators. To keep it simple, we've had educators already in the game, but they were like very strictly connected to the education points and the educator talks, meaning they had no other role than being there for a talk. Now, if they don't have a talk and they don't need to rest, they will actually roam around your zoo and uh, spend a little time explaining certain things to your people, which I love as a feature. This is so cool, will make the whole zoo a lot more alive and just like a, a bit more variation in, in what's going on. I love that one. Um, this one is something I'm going to keep for later. This is something we talked the last uh, minute about, uh, explore camera mode. We're going to talk about that later for a specific reason. Now. Audiovisual management screen and webcams on billboards. Now, this is something we've we've been asking for quite a lot. This is a better connection between all the different uh, items in the game regarding cameras and stuff. Now you can finally connect your webcam to the actual billboards and stuff, which makes a whole bunch more sense because then you can finally have the image from uh, the habitat right away without having a complicated way to make a screenshot, load it into your files and back, like, you know, blah, blah, way too complicated. Now this is really Really, really easy and you also get some cool um, abilities to put your uh, webcam from the burrows and stuff on the billboards without doing what I just said. Now really cool option as well is the new water options. Yeah you can see already the macaques bathing but we are going to talk about that later. But with this there comes the option to do some more flexi color with the water. We already have flexi color for the water volumes but we don't have flexi color for the water volumes in small exhibits. This is what we will get now. Um, we will get this in any exhibit that features water, allowing you to have more control than ever about how your habitat animals are displayed and viewed in your zoos. Pretty cool. Um, that's pretty cool that you get that one. And also you'll be able to add both mist and bubble effects to your habitat's water, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to implement these options from water information panel alongside the transparency and water color options. That means these two things will be baked into the water volume and you don't have to put these uh, ugly little black whatever VFX thingies. I love that. This is really beautiful and you can see that in this image here of the macaques really enjoying their little bath time here. Speaking of which, there is going to be the bathing behaviors and this is so cool. I have talked about that in a video over two years, nearly two years ago and I was really, really mad at that time that we don't have this function. However, I always thought it's gonna be an enrichment item if ever added. And two things. First, I never, never in my life thought that they would go back to the macaques to edit this, uh, to add this function because I really didn't think about any other animal that would do it. Now I'm more clever and I know more, which we have to talk about in a bit, but, um, Speaking of, of this function again, I love it that this is not an enrichment item. I hope it is an enrichment behavior. Actually, it is behavior, so it should actually count towards the uh, enrichment. Hopefully it does. And this is really cool because they can get some relaxation in there, as you can see, and it reduces the stress, at least that it does. It's obvious, but well, it's so cool to have that as, an, as a feature for your terrain modification and not as an enrichment item. 
love that. Also, flatten to terrace brush is really cool. Another word I can't pronounce properly in English, but whatever. Um, to help create shallow pools, you'll need to have uh, your new hot springs. You'll be able to use the new flatten to terrace brush. This new terrain brush is available up at 1.9 and offers a terrace height setting um, and a shallow pool offset option, which are incredibly helpful if you're wanting to create rise terrace structures within your zoo. Really, really cool stuff again. Um, again, giving the already pretty insane um, terrain tool a bit even more a bit of an edge really cool stuff and the last one small burrows with the update 1.9 smaller animals will now be able to adopt burrowing behaviors um, you'll be able to place small burrows for both meerkats prairie dogs in your zoos and don't forget that you can now add webcams feeds from your burrows to your billboards too so you'll be able to see animals enjoying these new small burrows really love this addition because well actually this means there is um a, a, a lot time spent into reading the comments of the community because um, people have been moaning about this a bit since the burrows were introduced everyone was like kind of a bit confused to why they don't add a small one just simply with the same mechanic now they do really love that um well let's move up a little bit to the one i left out this is the explore camera mode speaking of roaming we are very excited to share with the launch of update 1.9 you'll be able to make the most of a new explore camera mode seeing and editing your zoo from a guest level point of view you'll be able to see your zoo as if visiting yourself giving you a great perspective from which to make any building or decorative adjustment as well as offering a brand new way uh, for you to fully immerse yourself in your builds now why am i excluding this this is because now we do what I just said, I want to talk about DLC implications. Um, I think we all were somewhat tending towards birds and aviaries and hopefully um, this direction because it fits rather seasonal to the springtime in at least the northern part of the world. Um, However, I think this free update announcement changed things a little bit and there are a couple of indications to why. And I have not really seen anyone talking about that one, but for me, this personally is one of the biggest hints I, I could get. Because we have Tejit Cam in the game. Now, Tejit Cam is beautiful because they have made some severe changes to Tejit Cam in the past to make it even better. Um, to have like the option once you have Tejit Cam, you have a hotkey to just go back into Tejit Cam. So that was a, an easy way to access the first person camera. Um, you can control the speed and go further and back. So. There really was no real need for this specific explore camera mode, was there? I'm just like a little bit confused to why they would do this. I mean, yes, we now have, it, it seems like we have the function that we can adjust things from there. And there's only one reason why you would need to do that. And this is you need to manage more eye level things such as maybe aquariums, maybe stuff like that, you know, something that is a lot more intricate and small and small exhibits and stuff like that, which is a lot more easy to handle when you are on the guest level. And it's rather tricky from a, from a bird's perspective, like the normal kind of building view. I, I feel like this is something that they bring in to make editing on that level a lot more easy because I have no idea why they wouldn't mention that here anyways. Um, because that to me is something rather weird. Why would you do this from this camera angle anyways? Because normally if you build, like by any means, I love the guest mode and like the, the, the fact you can do tours like that. But for building, this is most of the time really weird because it brings you down into like almost an FPS style build like in Rust or, you know, Valheim or so, which to be fair works, but it's nowhere near the capabilities of a third person or like bird's view building thing. Um, so my guess is that this is something to to conquer a complicated way of doing small exhibits and imagine if we would get, and I've got no idea, but this is my little hope here to get like some aquariums and you can then actually make the aquariums look nice, maybe with some specific items you can put in there or maybe again with the um, ability to change the decorative items in small exhibits that are... Uh, you know, um, aquariums, uh, tanks like that. Because honestly, that would make a whole bunch of sense because why would they add another flexi color to water in small exhibits? It makes not really sense because we have the terrapin, if I'm not wrong. Is there any other one? Is it the, does the frog have water as well? I think we only have like two exhibits, I guess, in which you have water in. 
it just really doesn't make sense to only give that opportunity for those two. It really does not make any sense. And then we obviously have this stuff over here, the bathing behavior. Um, and again, it would wouldn't really make any sense to bring this in for only one animal um and and here's where things get a lot more complicated because you could think that with the um with with, with the function of fresh fresh water aquariums maybe it could be like an aquarium dlc i really doubt it because it, it seems like frontier would maybe add this function to the game with the DLC, but then also something for free, as they always do. Um, so this is also why we have the, um, you know, the water stuffy uh, there, the flexi color and stuff for the exhibits. And at the same time, we could get a capybara. I think many people wanted this animal for so long. And you know what these things do? They do bathing a lot. And that makes a whole bunch of sense to me. Now, add these two things together, we actually go into a specific region and that is the rainforest now rainforest is broad has a lot of animals in there and given we have some tropical fishies and the capybara who knows maybe we'll get some parrots and stuff like that birds or so i know i know this would be like this would be the mega pack this would be the the pack of the packs because it would add two different things to the game that we didn't have before um, and a fan favorite animal i think we can already check mark if we only get these three things i pretty much doubt it uh, to be honest because that would be way too good but again we have an announcement that there is on march 28 there's a very special um stream in uh, which they are going to tell us more which i'm super excited super 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 excited um so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm really hooked now. Also, the fact that they took a lot longer than usual until the next DLC. I mean, we are already one month overdue. Um, hints to me that maybe they had some more work to do. And that would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm just like really hoping that we are going towards this rainforest DLC type of thing um, because that would make sense to me with all the things that the um, that, that the update is hinting at and also Frontier has a road record of hinting into the wrong direction with the animals that they change so for example the macaques over here with the very wintry Japan Asia um, would be a hint towards the very long location I, a wrong location I remember they did a lot of these things with the free update stuff always hinting in the completely wrong direction in terms of uh, making sure that you don't guess the DLC and now I do guess that really hope that it's going to be like a rainforest DLC that would be really cool the choice of animals can be pretty sick um, and it could actually add the flying bird animation to the game but who knows let's just find out what's your guess on that let me know in the comments down below but for now that's it I hope you enjoyed this late video I know I'm late to the party and you've potentially heard 99% of it already but now you heard it from me as well I hope that's fine and now I wish all of you a wonderful night or a happy day no matter what just enjoy your time and stay safe until then have a good time and goodbye